All right, uh, year two, man. Uh, a little bit different feel than uh, this time last year? Uh, on the, get close to the start of the season? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we know what we're doing a little bit better than we did last year. So um, that's one thing. And we got a lot of new faces here and a lot of younger players. So excited to see what those guys will do. What did you learn about yourself as a head coach running uh, your own program for the first time? Well, you just, you know, there's a lot going on. I mean, you gotta got to be on top of everything and, um, you know, everything from where you're going to stay on the road to what you're going to eat to who's playing right field to, you know, what donor can I contact to, um, you know, to try to help this thing get a little bit better, those kind of things. So there's just a lot to it. And, and you know, coaching, just like any other profession, as you, as you get more experience, you know, you get better and more efficient at, at some of the things that you do. So, um uh, hopefully we'll be better this year than we were last year. Now that you've been around the program, you've been, built your staff, uh, when, it, when it comes to recruiting, what, what have y'all noticed uh, from a positive standpoint getting out there and around the greater Well, year? I mean, we've, you know, this program for a lot of years is junior college heavy. I mean, we just, matter of fact, last year, I think we had one freshman, maybe, um, maybe not even a freshman, um, a lot of juniors and seniors, and that's kind of how the Southland as a conference is really kind of that way. It's an older league where you get a lot of junior college guys, and we've tried to really uh, target the high school kids. So we have, I think, 10 or 12 freshmen that we're really high on. So I think it's just a little bit of a different model than they've they've used here in the past, and you know we'll see if it works. What, what kind of with the branding of now HCU, uh, household name here in the Houston area, and pretty good talent within the this whole greater Houston area. Yeah, and that, that was the, one of the things when I first took this job that I thought was appealing is it's right here in the best recruiting city in America, in my opinion, for mm -hmm. for college baseball. So, um, you know, we're building the brand and we've had sort of a brand shift from HBU to HCU, so it'll take some time. And mm -hmm. uh, obviously, if you, if you start winning, start having success, that cures a lot of problems. And uh, so that's kind of the next step for us is to put a good season in the can and we'll go from there. Just walking out to the ballpark for the first time, just being nearby working. I know you have had the the upgrade here. What does this facility, the indoor, mean for your program? Well, it's it's tremendous. I mean, it was the very first thing on my agenda, so to speak. If you if they if they said, hey, what's the one thing that you want more than anything else? It would be that a place where no matter what the weather is, we can get our work in, and a place where we can really develop guys. It's a so it's an indoor air-conditioned weight room and three batting cages and we can throw bullpens in there if we need to so uh, no matter what's going on in the in the weather world in Houston we can uh, we can get our work in so it's been a big benefit to us. Is that a must as a program you, I mean when you're building it and adding it I know y'all gonna be keep doing more with the with the stadium here but you've got to have that don't you? It is here I mean as much as it rains and you know obviously places that are in the north and the midwest have to have it as well because of the weather but right. i mean i guess the only place you would need it would be like southern california or arizona or someplace yeah. like that but but if you're anywhere where it rains consistently especially in the springtime you know you got to have it and so um you know, we kind of survive kids. without it yeah and it, it, it's kids around 100 percent. yeah no we got it you know this yeah. is to be to kind of keep up with the joneses so to speak it's in this in this era of free flow of information i mean everybody knows what you got and what you don't have so with it's a good step for us to try to to show people that hey we're serious about upgrading facilities and it's a, it's a big step forward in that regard lastly when you look at, at college sports in general definitely football you're seeing a lot of it but the whole portal uh, what have you learned about that that maybe has surprised you now that you're into the job and how, well i think it's it gonna right yeah it's gonna benefit us i mean i think i think we'll benefit more than we'll get hurt by it because okay. you know there's there's a lot of kids that and and, and in I'm, I'm can't speak to football but in baseball for sure there's definitely a school of thought and not only that but it's you know it's proven time and time again you win with older guys so a lot of the big power five programs are going to the portal for to find those older guys and as a result you got a lot of good young players that don't get to play so they get frustrated at their they go to a big power five and oh we just had so and so transfer in sorry you're not playing for a couple of years well, we'll reap the benefit of that, and I think we've already done that to a certain degree. So, lastly, uh, the teaching aspect. How, and I talked to you, remember, a year ago this time, you're looking forward to working with these kids, teaching them the game. How fun has that been from the coaching standpoint to do it at this level? Yeah, and it's 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 great this year, especially because, like I said, we have so many new young players um, that are just they're very green. So that they're sponges. They soak up information. They they love to play baseball. They love to be around the field, and so. Uh, guys like that are eager to learn, and that, that's what 
for me, that kind of lights my fire just when you see a, a good, young, eager player that wants to learn the game. And, um, you know, that's what we're here for.